Welcome all you YouTubers. I really wanted to do this episode outside today, but it started raining, and for some reason, me with technology, it just don't do well in the water. So, what we have here is a gold tip. Oh... Velocity Valkyrie XT in the 400 spine. All I gotta say about this arrow is it is pretty. I mean, look at the graphics on it. It is a wonderful arrow. Now, it is built off of the Velocity shaft. 400 series spine is 7.4 grains per inch, so it's a light shaft. It's the velocity shaft, but here is the part that I really like. It's a four fletch. Now, what I've noticed about the four fletch over the three fletch they don't go as fast as the three fletch, but here's the thing. They go faster than anything you or my grandpa, great grandpa, or even Fred Bear shot. These things blister, and due to them being a four fletch, they got a smaller, lower profile vein on them. So. You're also going to get more vein clearance. And with the Acculite knock on there, you get that aligned right in between two of the veins. And when you're up in your tree stand or you're spotting stock, you grab an arrow, you're watching that deer, you get it knocked on the arrow. No matter what way you got the knock facing, up, down, it don't matter. You're going to have perfect vein clearance. Your arrow's going to fly true. With the four fletch and a broadhead, your arrows are going to group even tighter than before, which I don't recommend practicing groups with broadheads because I end up finding out before that Practicing with broadheads is a horrible idea when it comes to a $10 lighted knock on the end of your arrow and the next thing you know you Robin Hood it and there goes a $10 knock with a $10 arrow in one shot. It's like, oh my god. So, practicing with a 4 fletch Valkyrie by gold tip and a broadhead, I don't recommend group tuning those. Now, another thing I've noticed with that Acculite knock on the end compared to a lot of the other knots, if I'm not mistaken, I think it weighs roughly 8.3 grains. So you have virtually hardly any weight but vein weight at the back end. I want to say the inserts, their Acculite insert, roughly around, I want to say, 10 to 12 grains. 100 grain broadhead up front. You got FOC without even doing anything special to it. So, here is my honest review on the Gold Tip Valkyrie Arrow. For Fletch. You guys need to buy a dozen of them. That's the review. They are honestly that good. I love them. I wish I'd known about the Velocity line sooner. But I'm still... Oh, this will be third year, fourth year into archery. So, I'm not saying I'm a professional. But I know when... Not being a professional, I take and draw back and I shoot. And I can take my true fighter sear 
and the little index finger loop in it. I can't even fit around three arrows because the arrows are that tight together because they group so well. I don't have to be a rocket scientist to know shoot these arrows. I don't have to have a college degree to know what arrow to shoot. Not only that, but check this out. When you put five of these bad boys in the new Matthews Low Pro Quiver, I mean, I I haven't bought my turkey tag yet, but these things look so awesome in here even that as soon as I buy my tag, I almost just want to notch it just because, I mean, what turkey don't want to die for one of these arrows? They're beautiful. They shoot smooth. They shoot flat. They shoot fast. They shoot accurate. They hit hard. They're a 246 diameter, 7.4 grains per inch. I got these cut to 27 inches. On average, a 12 grain aculoid insert with a 100 grain schwacker up at the front end. That's going to be turkey mayhem this spring. I'm going to go kill some targets because I don't need to film shooting a target. And my bow, I'm not going to worry about it getting wet. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to like this video. We're going to share the video. You're going to subscribe to my page. Then you're going to get on Gold Tips website and order a dozen of these. You're welcome.